this year is 120 an anniversary of one of the uh, most important painters in Bulgaria who lived uh, in the 20th century. His name is Zlatyo Bojev. He is originally from Plovdiv, from the southern portions of uh, Bulgaria. And he was uh, uh, quite famous already in the 50s uh, when he got a stroke in uh, his left hemisphere. He had been right-handed, so the left hemisphere was the dominant hemisphere for him. And um, after the stroke, he was able uh, to go back to uh, painting after a year or so. And uh, actually, uh, his uh, art developed so much that he uh, painted more paintings after the stroke than uh, in the years before the stroke. And the uh, interesting thing about um, his art af before and after, I'm going to show you now a few pictures before and after, that the colors changed dramatically. These are pictures before. Mostly they were more dark. And this is how uh, he'd, he'd been painting after the stroke. Portraits before, after. Landscapes before and after. Again, portrait before and after. So uh, when this case was uh, published, because he was so famous, uh, the best uh, B Bulgarian neurologist at that time uh, tried to take care of him. And eventually, uh, when they published, they wrote that the change of style of the painter Zlatyo Bojev was so great that one could conclude a new painter is born. And uh, Zlatyo Bojev is not the only case. One of the uh, most famous German painters uh, of modern times, Lovis Corinth, uh, who lived some 50 years earlier, and was the chair of the Berlin secessionism uh, movement. And um, after Max Liebermann, uh, he led the uh, German secessionism. He also had a similar case. For him, the right hemisphere had been the, the dominant one. And like Zlatyo Bojev, he got a stroke uh, approximately at the same age, about the age of 50 in both cases in the dominant hemisphere, in this case, uh, the right hemisphere. And again, he um, came back to uh, painting, to art. And here are some examples before and after. Before and after. Again, more, some, somehow more dark paintings, which became more expressionist uh, after the stroke. So uh, eventually, uh, uh, what they concluded that is uh, referred in the case of Zlatyo Bojev, but uh, also uh, can be stated for uh, Lovis Corinth, is that both cases represent a remarkable capability of plasticity in the fifth decade.